And today we've got here a docking station which is targeted at small devices. Devices like tablets, mobile phones, or even this mini computer right over here, mini laptop computer, that we want to turn into a full-fledged workstation where we can connect one single cable and then have available a display up to 4K. We can also have SSDs, micro SD cards, SD cards, and our peripherals like mouses and keyboards in a really nice looking way. Now this is the BiEasy 8-in-1 USB Type-C docking station and if you are using your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below. Now looking at the Buy Easy docking station, first of all it's really well built all made of this brushed aluminium so there is no cheap parts right over here space gray i believe that this is the only color but i will leave the link down below it's a bit darker than my mac book pro it has these rubber protections here on the top so that we can place in our tablets or any other device and it doesn't scratch it also has rubber protections here on the stand and rubber underneath which means that it will help to grip better on the surface that we want now it has eight ports that we can use in terms of connectivity and i did test them also i will share with you in just a few moments the speed tests and whatnot but right over here on the right side what we will find is a sd card full size port a micro sd and the usb type c port to connect to our device to our mobile phone or whatever we want at the back it has another usb type c that we will connect to our power adapter and it will charge the device that we are using it has the hdmi ports to connect to our display a gigabit ethernet port and then here on the right side has two usb 3.0 5 gigabit port and a 3.5 millimeter audio output now i did test out with several devices including this computer right over here but the one that i did had a lot of fun was my samsung galaxy s20 fan edition which has samsung decks and this is the in my opinion of course the best possible scenario for this docking station probably in terms of aesthetics i would prefer a tablet with samsung decks instead of a phone because it's smaller and it doesn't look as good as a tablet but it will work and the functionality is all here and what i did love is that i have access to a big screen tv or a display in this particular case 4k and i will share that with you in just a few moments and what i can do is productivity tasks and if i want i can play around with games i can have access to a keyboard to a mouse i can have access to storage external storage in this particular case so if i want to edit videos or if i want to do anything else just with my phone this is just a awesome addition and then just unplugging one cable i can take my phone away and do whatever I want on the go, which is something that I don't do on a daily basis. But I do know quite a few people that do. They start working on the phone and then they want a way to connect their phone or tablet to a bigger display when they arrive home and improve their productivity on a bigger screen. Then this is a great setup. Now, besides the Samsung Dex, I also tested out with the MacBook just to test out two things, one of which was how it would look a desktop on this particular docking station because we have seen many docking stations here on the channel and for laptops and desktops there are a lot on the market now this price right over here for what it offers is quite good so link will be down below and in terms of usability yes we can use it with the laptop no issues whatsoever i did try with macbook and i also tried with a windows laptop so in terms of aesthetics and in terms of handling the laptop no worries at all i also tested because i wanted to test out the ports right over here first of all i did test the resolution and it was able to use 4k of my display so that was great I was really happy when I saw the 4K resolution on my display. I can use it extended display or I can mirror the display, whatever I decide to use. Also tested out the gigabit Ethernet port and I was reaching out the maximum of my provider, which is 500 megabits per second. But if you have a gigabit connection, you will have 
the full bandwidth and the USB ports were reaching the 5 gigabit per second limit and this of course will depend on the SSD that we use. I did use one over USB Type-C to type a. And finally, also tested out the SD card slot and it was hitting the maximum speed of my card. So this will depend on the SD card that we use. But basically, it did pass on all the tests and the only one that I didn't test out was the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. But I do believe that it will output sound. I don't see any reason not to do. So in conclusion, what I would say is that there are a lot of docking stations, but if you have a mobile device like a phone or like a mini computer like this one right over here, which I really enjoy and I take sometimes to troubleshoot here and there on my network or anything else. But if I want to use one of these machines on a docking station, just connecting one cable and then have my keyboard, my mouse, my big screen TV or display, this is a great addition, especially for those that will use it with an iPad Pro, for example, or a Samsung tablet, which also has the Samsung DeX, which is one of my favorites, then this will be a great addition to the setup. Never mind the noise, you almost forgot about the noise. It's the only downside that I saw, but it's something that we will not be messing around. I will put it on the position that I need and it will stay like this for the hours that I want. That being said, hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope that you enjoyed to know a little bit better about this by Easy Docking Station 18-in-1. If that was the case, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.